see who the dude did the GoFundMe to send him back to Air Force. I saw that. I did not see that. Yeah, I saw that's, that. That's funny. I say what? Black dude. Man. That's that's well, well, Y'all want me to go back? Hey, find it. <laughs> <laughs>
Azerbaijan would no longer be landlocked countries. Africa would perhaps be the least severely yeah. affected continent, but Egypt Put would be up. severely damaged by having both <laughs> Alexandria and Cairo going underwater. The Persian Gulf, meanwhile, would land. swallow the right. entire countries of Qatar Boom. and Bahrain, and the city of Baghdad. Is rip, India man. <laughs> and Pakistan would be badly damaged, but the entire country of Bangladesh would cease no to badly. exist in this catastrophe. Hundreds of millions of people would be underwater in China, including Beijing and Shanghai, in addition to the cities of Seoul, Pyongyang, and Tokyo. Australia would be home to a new inland sea, and finally Antarctica would become more of an archipelago. But unlike the Antarctica of today, this Antarctica would likely be habitable and easily colonizable by future humans. So what can we do to prevent this nightmare future from happening? Reducing humanity's usage of fossil fuels is perhaps the best way at mitigating our warming climate. The These idea. following countries produce at least 75% of their power from renewable energy resources like solar, wind, and hydropower. Hmm. Global investments hmm. in Did renewable in energy in rose by 57% between 2008 it's and 2015. Wow. The European Union alone more than doubled its renewable energy production between 2000 and 2013, and recently 195 different countries signed the Paris Climate Accord in which they all agreed to cooperate in combating global warming. One of us. While the stakes have never <laughs> you know, been higher, get out. we are close to seeing a yeah. true energy yeah. revolution. Yeah. If you want to learn more about climate change and want to take action yourself, then I strongly encourage you to go watch the upcoming film, An Inconvenient Sequel. Watching the film is taking action, and it goes into far more depth than I ever could in a short YouTube video. The film will be released in New York and Los Angeles on July 28th, and will be released nationwide on August 4th. Please go to the description below for more details. Be inconvenient. Watch the water splash off the city. <laughs> this is global warming. Rocked on the city. <laughs> Oops, kid. Sorry. Despair can be paralyzing, but this to me is the most exciting new development. We're seeing a tremendous amount of positive change. The basis is there, but it's still not yeah. enough. If you enjoyed not only did some one fool opt out of that agreement, yeah. one fool also said that windmills cause cancer. What? Sure did. And it kills bird. What? <laughs> wow. Well I guess if a bird ran it. Okay. Hey y'all look. <laughs> hey I man, a lot of people don't believe in climate change. I'm a person that does believe in climate change, man. I, ever since I go brought out the inconvenient truth back in the early 2000s, I think. I can't dispute the evidence. Sure you know can. I can't. Even if I didn't believe in it, I have to like at least be like, well, yeah, you know, the it, evidence supports it. So, but just gotta do your research, people. Yeah, yeah. Research. So come on, you think I'll look? Last I mean, week was 100 degrees. This week is 70. Then it might it might snow tomorrow. I mean, you couldn't believe them three scientists that do disagree. All right. I'm not if saying this is your first I time do. visiting the channel. I'm not, oh, I'm oh, not right. saying that's a lot of people. I, I'm that's not saying of, me. There's millions of people that think like those three scientists. That's right. That's I don't right. know where they got their degrees from they, or their education. I don't but. know why they can't just uh, look at the signs and yeah. you know what I'm saying and, and the evidence is right there. I mean, yeah. You know, I just need to learn how to swim. I guess. No, I think we are. I think we're gonna be all right up there in Tennessee. You know, like Memphis yeah, look good. Move north. Uh, or, or move to Africa. Get a boat. Africa, yeah, yeah. You All know right. that, that movie, right. uh, what hey. was it? Uh, it was a movie, 2012. Mm -hmm. When they, when everything, earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, and all this stuff, like Africa was like the only continent left. Remember uh, that? Wakanda? It, like, it, it rose up out the ocean, and it was still like the only country left. Uh, obviously, that might be, might be true. Hey, did y'all see who the dude did the GoFundMe to send him back to Africa? I saw that. I did not see uh, that. that. I saw that's, that. That's funny. I saw say it. what? Black dude. Y'all hey, well, well, want me to go back? Hey, fund it. <laughs> How much does it have? I don't know. Oh. I How much does it cost to send me back? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I need more expenses than just the cost. I need, you know, living expenses, you know what I'm saying? I got oh, when I go, I need to be able to yeah. not do I nothing. Yeah. Just need that. Uh, you want me to go? A spot hey. hang up to you? You want to live on the good part, not the part they always <laughs> right, show. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, man. But, this stuff serious, man. It's so yes, serious. Sir. It really is. I know what you're doing. When do you do something about it? You know, I don't know what. Vote, people. Vote. All right. Yeah, that's right. Hey, but hey, let us know what you guys think about the video in the comments below. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, go ahead and like us, subscribe to it, share us on out with your friends and family. Make sure you hit that notification button so you will be notified when new videos drop. They'll drop right in your phone. 
the water. Drop. The water. It went to the wall. Splash. Until next time, people. <laughs> you should do like a push. Water splash. Just so you gotta stop this.